In this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you what I think are the best free drum VST plugins for 2020. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Now there's an awful lot of free drum plugins out there for you to choose from and an awful lot of them are awful. So I've waded through them and I've chosen my top five free VST drum plugins for 2020 so that you can get straight to the good stuff, download them and start using them in your music today. So I'll be going through that in a moment but before we do get started, if you do like this kind of content all about home recording, DAWs, gear reviews, plugin reviews, that kind of thing, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you are notified about my future videos. Now as I say it's going to be my top five, I'll start off with my least favorite and work towards my most favorite. So let's get going with number five. Five. So in number five, we have an old favorite of mine, the MT Power Drum Kit 2. And one of the reasons I like this plugin is because it delivers on the promise it makes in its title. It gives you a nice, powerful sounding drum kit, which particularly lends itself to styles such as rock. Now let's have a quick listen to each drum that you get with the one drum kit you do get in this plugin. So some pretty decent sounding acoustic samples. I did find that when I was playing it out of the box when I first used it, that it just felt like it wanted to be played really, really hard. No matter what I did on my keyboard, it seemed like the drum hits came out pretty hard. So I do find with this that if you want a little bit more subtlety, it's a good idea to adjust the velocity settings on your keyboard, or uh, if you have that feature on your drum pads, whatever input device you're using. Now I've got mine set to a fairly extreme setting now, um, which ironically is the extra hard setting on my keyboard, but that means I can play some pretty soft notes. So I'll just play the kick drum from my keyboard here. There's a nice variation in velocity there, the same with the snare. So you can use this a little bit more subtly than just hard hitting all the time, but as I say, you need to adjust the velocity curve on your input device. Now moving on, we also have a mixer on this plugin, uh, a nice simple to use mixer, just faders here, uh, pan controls for each drum, a really nice straightforward compressor. You simply just switch it on and there's one knob to control the amount of compression you get. One thing I do find very handy about this mixer is the fact that we do have uh, a number of outputs we can direct our drums to. In all you have eight outputs. Now this means for example if I was to send uh, my snare to output number two that means it goes to a different channel in the console of my DAW giving me uh, control over that drum specifically. I could EQ it differently, I could add different effects, I could also automate it separately from the other drums. I find that very very handy and it also means that you're not always going into the the plugin all the time when you're at the mixing stage. I must much prefer to stay in the console of my DAW as much as possible during mixing phases of a project. Moving on from here, we also have some grooves, some nicely organized grooves, and there's some good quality grooves amongst them as well. So if we go to intros, for example, here, there's an intro folder, and we've got a bunch to select from there. I'll just randomly pick one and hope it's a good one. Not bad at all. So let's go to some different beats here. You get the idea, nicely organized in these folders here. You can also drag these out onto your DAW as well. So you're not just playing them from within the plugin itself. You can drag them out, you can edit them, all that good stuff. So, so let's just finish off by having a listen to this kit on a groove that I made just this morning. Four. So in at number four is the drums library, which is played in the Labs plugin, a free plugin from Spitfire Audio. Now the Labs plugin gives you access to a number of free instruments, all nice quality from Spitfire Audio, and the drums is just one of them. Now because it's not a dedicated plugin to drums, it does lack the features that you'd like to see in a drums plugin, but I've put it here because the quality of the samples is really nice, and I think it could be easily used in a lot of contemporary forms of music because these are nice acoustic samples. Let's just have a listen to them now. So 
So everything you need for most songs there, you know, your cymbals, uh, your kick, snare, a few toms, and some nice double hits on the toms up here, for example, as well. Nice double hits on the snare. So they're useful to have there. And as you can see, very, very few controls. You've got a master volume control here, and you've also got this big dial here, which is for reverb. So I'm just gonna play that little groove again there, and I'm gonna dial up the reverb so you can hear how that sounds. It's not bad sounding reverb at all. Now there is another control here, which I haven't found any documentation for. I feel like it may do some adjustment to the velocity and it definitely adds more presence and you can especially hear it in the cymbals. Let me know in the comments down below what you think this is probably called. Maybe you've found the documentation, which I haven't found, but have a listen to what happens as I push this control up. So that's the Spitfire Labs drum library. Three. So in at number three is Loop Cloud Drum. And if you're into more electronic types of music, this is definitely for you. Now the deal here is you sign up for Loop Cloud. It's a free registration, and that gives you access to some free loops as well as some paid stuff as well. Now, as well as their main application, you also get this drum plugin. And I think the reason for that is probably because they recognize that drums probably need a different interface to most other instruments. So good on them for that. Now with the drum, plug-in you also get a welcome pack which includes 10 different kits and a lot of them sound really really good you're going to hear them in a moment but first of all let's look at some of the features so you have your main drum pads over here and I've got the audio jack house drums loaded up we'll just have a quick listen to some of these some nice samples up here effects and a road sound there. Really, really nice stuff. It's very easy to be inspired by that. Now down here, as you click on each drum, you'll see controls for that particular drum. So things like tuning, envelope, the drive, a filter there, and you can also do some sends to the inbuilt effects, which are delay and reverb. Right at the bottom, you see the pattern control. So the, there are some patterns which come with this, and this is showing the pattern for the particular drum you've got selected. So here I've obviously got kick selected, and we can see the beats for pattern A there as they occur. Um, you can adjust the velocity just by dragging those bars up and down, and you can also add some rolls in as well, which is often used in these styles of music. Moving on, we also have some mixer controls. Now this has pretty much the same controls that you have for each individual drum, but they're all together here in one place, so you can kind of mix your kit together. The one downside to this slightly, if I'm gonna have a little whinge about it, is I would like to see some separate outputs for each drum. Perhaps they could do that um, in a future update. I just like to work that way. As I said earlier, I like to mix from the main console of my DAW. But having said that, this is free. So should we complain? No. Now let's move back to the pads here and let's have a listen to some of the different kits. I'm just going to play this one first. Let's have a listen. So that's the Audio Jack house drums. Let's move on to something a bit different, the uh, uh, D&B drums. And then to one of my absolute favorites, I really, really like this, have a listen. It sort of reminds me of uh, Gorilla's music, which I really dig. Couple more. So one thing I have to say about this collection is if you know this channel at all, this is not really my genre of music at all. But as soon as I was playing around with it, it was really addictive. I was really loving a lot of the sounds that you get with these kits and I was very inspired to start using these sounds within my own music. So let's see if that happens in the future, but can't recommend this one enough. That's Loop Cloud Drum. 
So what do you think about my choices so far? Don't forget if there's a plugin which you really love, which you think should be on the list, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. Now let's get back to number two. Two. So in at number two, we have Drum Mica, a free contact library, which thankfully plays in the free version of contact, that being the contact player. And I'll put a link for that down in the description. Now this plugin's a little bit different and it's quirky and I like that about it because rather than come from the perspective of changing the sound by giving you lots of different drums, this is about changing the microphones you use on those drums. And that's no surprise because this library is coming from Sennheiser and Neumann, microphone giant. So this is more of what I think of as a producer's drum kit. You get a basic drum kit, but then you mold it by changing the microphones and then using the different effects built in, or you can use the effects in your DAW, which I'll get to a little bit later. But first of all, let's just have a quick listen to the basic drum sounds. So as I say, some fairly basic, but very useful acoustic sounds there. So how do we go about molding it? Well, for example, if we click, if we go over here and click on this microphone here, we can change that out for the snare. So we've got a couple of choices suitable for snares there, a Sennheiser microphone there, and also a Neumann microphone there. And they're gonna change the sound of the snare. Let's have a listen. So that's a really nice way of molding the sound of the kit as you want it. Now you have further control here when you go to sections like the mixer. So let's go to the mixer here. There's quite a number of controls here, your general mixer controls. What I really like in here, um, apart from the EQ and the compressor which you get with it, is the transient designer. I always love to use transient designers on my drum. They're a really quick way of getting like a more punchy sound if you want that, or a more gentle sound if you want that. So some nice features there. You also do get some beats with this as well, a nice selection if we go to the beat section. Let's go to the hip hop section here, for example. Um, I'm randomly choosing things here, folks, so I don't know if this will be good or not. Let's have a listen. Hmm, nice. Let's go to some funk. Now, if you want to get even more control, you can actually uh, have these drums go out to separate channels on your mixer. It's not that straightforward, but it can be done. So if we go over to options here, you can see at the bottom here that we can choose different outputs for each drum. Now, it's important to note that of these eight outputs, these are not exactly outputs to your console, but they go to different outputs from within the contact plugin. And then you're going to have to route those out to the console in your DAW. A little bit convoluted, but it can be done, and that's gonna give you even more control over individual drums and their mix. So this is Drum Mica, definitely give it a go if you like really tasty sounding acoustic drums. So it wouldn't be a top five from me without some honorable mentions. These are a couple of plugins which didn't quite make the top five, but they were very close. The reason I didn't pick them is probably because they're not that useful to many people, but they may be just perfect for you. So first up, I've got Drum Pro. I've had this in a top five before. It got beaten by some others this time, but it's still a great plugin, especially if you're into electronic music. Now at the moment we have the 909 uh, loaded up, so let's have a listen to the kicks and snares and stuff from that some hi-hats and some claps or if you like your even more classic 808 let's load that one up So some nice electronic sounds there. There's a bunch of kits if you're into electronic music, so definitely check out Drum Pro. Now next up, we have one of the weirdest plugins ever. This is Line of Legends. It's so quirky, I kind of like it. Now I think this is geared more towards electronic music, but it has got some really nice acoustic sounds in there as well. So let's have a listen to the kick, for example. Definitely electronic. Yeah, and some snare sounds. Nice variation there. You've got your claps and snaps. Uh, some very acoustic sounding toms. And also your hi-hat. 
ride and some crashes here. So a quirky kit, but there may just be the sound that you want amongst it. It's free. You can download it and have fun with it right away. One. So in at number one, I have Stephen Slate Drums 5, the free edition where you get one free drum kit. And the reason I've picked this for my number one spot is because of its all round nature. It ticks a lot of boxes that the other ones did, but all here in one package. Now to begin with, we have a nice sounding acoustic kit. Let's just have a quick listen to each drum. So that can be used for a lot of different types of music, from pop to rock, jazz, blues, all that kind of stuff. So that can be a very, very useful kit in itself. Now, as you see me click on each drum, you'll see that there's individual controls for each drum so that we can mold the sound. Now, I particularly like the fact that we've got some ADSR controls, so attack, decay, sustain, release. That can really change the sound of a drum and make it more suitable for your song. And I like the fact that we've got individual control for velocity on each drum as well. So we've got different velocity curves for each drum rather than treating the kit as a whole. Now over in the mixer section, apart from the obvious controls of faders and panning and muting and soloing and all that kind of good stuff, we also do have the ability to output to individual channels in our DAW. Very handy indeed, as I've mentioned before, I know I go on about it, but it's a really important feature to me. So I'm happy to see that they've included it here. Um, and then next we move on to the mapping features. We can assign different keys to different drums. Very handy if you're using to coming from a different plugin, you want compatibility, or you've received some MIDI files and you just want to be able to set them up via the keys rather than go in and change the MIDI. So I like that. Now, of course, we also have a groove section. This is not so great for me. It's nice that they've given us a good selection of grooves to choose from here. I just think the quality of them is not that awesome. That's a matter of opinion, of course. Let's just pick one at random as we have before and play that. Well, as it happens, I quite like that. But I did find some of the others a little bit ordinary. Now, this uh, can be grabbed and then dragged off to your DAW, so then you can just drop it um, on a lane in your MIDI, in, um, as MIDI in your DAW and adjust that yourself and make it your own. All good stuff. And that's why this is my number one pick for drum plugins for 2020. So I've got a question for you. If you had to choose just one of these plugins, you couldn't have any other, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, don't forget to like this video. That really helps me out because it lets YouTube know that other people should watch this video as well. If you didn't like this video, you don't like free stuff, then do hit the dislike button twice for me. And if you do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. Now, by the way, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see me use in these videos, don't forget to check in the description down below for my gear guide. And I will see you all in the next video.